What up YouTube? Today is the day that we do the official 200 kV motor speed test. Now, <clears throat> I've moved since the last video, so it took me a, you know, a couple minutes to get back to the same area where I did the first 150 kV test, but I'm close now. I'm just gonna kick push over there so that I can maintain my full battery. You already know the details. Everything has been the exact same. We're using the exact same street. So no need to go into a whole lot of detail there. Um, just gonna keep it nice and short and sweet. We'll do three runs and I'll document both the remote and the GPS tracked speeds, max speeds, and then we'll compare what with the 150 kV motors. Um, I'm ready to get this over with. Y'all ready? Let's go. At the starting point now, um, here's that same strip, okay? So I'm gonna do three runs. The first, um, actually yeah, I'll do all three runs. I'm not gonna really be paying attention too much to the remote this time. Um, just because I'll be going a little bit faster and I wanna make sure I pay attention and I'm, I'm safe about it. So, get ready for run one and Let's do this. All right, so I wanted to show you again that I'm running uh, 200 kV motors. Here they are again. Okay. 200 kV. Still got the 107 millimeters on. So I'll wait for the light to go green over there and we'll do run one. Let's get it. Alright, so that's run one. Didn't really get to see the remote. I was paying attention to everything else. But let's see what the GPS track speed is. Here we are, let's take a look at the uh, GPS track speed. So this has me at about 35.4. So 35. Of course I got a horrible pen, but it's called 35. Writing looks like a fourth grader's, but maybe even a kindergartner's. But either way, 35.4 as evidenced here on the GPS. Um, so that's that. All right, so after run one, I noticed that I didn't press the acceleration all the way down from the beginning. I guess I'm more apprehensive now that I know it goes a little bit faster and there's still cars on the road and stuff. So, you know, I'll keep that in mind. I'm just gonna wait a little bit until the road is completely clear and then we'll do run two and see how that changes in terms of how I'm applying the acceleration. So, at some point I did have it all the way down, so it should be max speed, but you know, I didn't really apply it from the beginning. So, we'll see. Uh, right now, just waiting, and we'll get ready to round two. Let's go. Get it.
sure you guys all saw, but there's a guy jaywalking across the street. But at some point I still had the remote pressed all the way down. Um, I don't know. Well, I'll count that as a run. But if it's you know if it's far off of the third and between you know if it's far off between the first and second, uh, first and third runs, then you know that it was because of that jaywalker. Uh, but let's let's take a look at the numbers. Let's go. Looking at the uh, numbers for the second run now. Um, let's take a look. So max speed is GPS clocked at 32. You know. Uh, so let's just put that in there. 32. Even though I know that's not really as fast as I could have gone. Um, so yeah, I mean, my assumption was correct. You know, I did go faster than the 150 kV motor still. And that's with a little bit of braking because of the jaywalker. Um, and I guess I never really reached that max speed on this run. So... Let's just take this third run and try to go all out here and uh, see, you know, the absolute maximum I can get. And then I want to call it because there's a lot of activity going on right now. It's like the middle of the week at like 10 a.m. I, I assumed everyone's going to be at work, but uh, there's a lot more activity than I than I thought there would be. So, um, you know, I want to stop. I don't want to do too many runs. You know what I mean? Um, the most important thing is just to live to ride another day. So I'm going to go back and reset, we'll do one more run, and I'll try to go all out here and see what the absolute maximum I can get on the GPS is. And then once I get back to the, the house, I'll take a look at the footage and see what the remote said. All right. So let's go. Let's reset. This is the last run. I'm actually going to try to get as much speed as I can on this one. I'm leaving nothing behind. I'm, I'm going all out here. I'm getting low and I'm going for it. So this is probably going to be my absolute max speed on this board, especially not in perfect conditions with nobody around. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So uh, let's go. Round three. Let's do it. another run um, I'll show you the data here but it was 35.4 I mean sorry 35.5 so just wrote that in 35.5 but I repeated it I did a fourth run um, basically I'm only going like two avenues length uh, 0 0.2 miles and uh, my repeat was 33.2 uh, in that run I didn't film but um, probably should have that run somebody got in my way as well so 35.5 is what I'm recording um, <clears throat> you already saw that on the first run I went 35.4 um, the fact that the GPS I haven't changed anything with my GPS app and everything. Um, if I had a more controlled environment like the first, like 150 kV test, then I probably would have had more accurate GPS speeds. Um, but just too many variables, too many people walking in my way. Um, so I'm going to go with the absolute, um, the two highest values, which is 35.4 and 
35.5. So I'll average all of these later and I'll take a look at the remote to see what the max speed on each run was and then we'll uh, make a combined average and see you know is the 200 kV motor that much better than the 150 kV motor. Um, so there's a couple of things to keep in mind when you're deciding what to use. Um, just know that the 200 kV motors do decrease your torque but they increase your max speed okay and they also draw a lot more power than the 150 kV motors which can affect your range I haven't really done an official range test with the 200 kV motors but um, it can affect your range but also um, it actually can overheat and so this is a problem that I've been running into especially since it got warmer um, the board has been overheating on me especially with the 200 kV motors so if you're gonna go that route I'd recommend just doing either the 150 or doing 200 kV and then keeping your amount you know your speed that you're traveling to a low and then also um, you know the distance because you got to keep track of how hot your motors are getting and sometimes when you're going max speed it can shut off and you'll have to either foot brake to a stop or bail and get seriously injured so you know I'd recommend only upgrading to 200 kV motors if you're an expert rider if you're a beginner I would not recommend it um, just for the few miles per hour faster that you get I think it's worth just sticking with the stock KV motors but we'll see what the remotes are and we'll do the complete averages and and we'll do a, a final impression then all right stay tuned let's go let's get it all right so we made it back to the house um, time to calculate these averages so I looked at the footage and it looks like we got 31 on the first run on the remote 30 on the second and 30 on the third um, now with the second one the pedestrian did cross in front of me um, so I kind of let off the acceleration a little bit didn't necessarily break but that kind of probably threw me down to 32 on the GPS and then on the third run it wasn't you know it wasn't easy to see the numbers the highest that I could actually see was 30 so that's what I recorded here uh, but the GPS tracked me at 35.5 so let's calculate the averages so yes this this run was a little on the slow side but I'm still gonna include it in the averages so that's an average of 34.3 And um, that's for the GPS. So it's 30.3. Now, if we take the combined averages between the two, we get 32.3. So the absolute maximum speed I had on the 150 kV motors was. 29.9 on the GPS and 27 on the remote. Uh, the absolute max on the 200 kV was 35.5 and a 31 on the remote max. Uh, it could have been more here. I couldn't really see the, see the remote very well, but we'll still say it's 31 max on the remote. So that gives us averages of 28.4 and 32.3. Um, between the two motors. So that's a pretty significant difference about uh, four miles per hour difference um, which can actually go a long way especially if you're you're planning to race somebody. Alright so I just realized that I forgot to film my final impressions on the 200 kV motors. Um, so in summary well obviously you get a little bit more speed. Um, you get around four miles per hour more however you know the biggest downside for me is the one the drop in torque that you get uh, the braking power is not that strong so you know like I said before I recommend 
if you're a beginner, not to upgrade to 200 kV motors, only because, you know, especially in Manhattan and New York City, uh, sometimes you're gonna have to quickly stop, and if you don't know how to foot brake and, you know, brake with the remote at the same time, you can run into some trouble. The second thing is that there's issues with overheating with this 200 kV motor, which could be an issue for longer range rides or very hilly areas. So those are the two biggest you know, downsides to the 200 kV motor. But in terms of just getting the max speed out of your board, you can't go wrong with that. Um, now with this being said, I did have some issues with people walking in front of me and uh, you know I had to come ease off of the throttle and so so on and so forth but um, you know it's it's hard you know I I didn't have any better place to do the 200 kV motor test at that time so take it with a grain of salt the GPS tracked speeds have been relatively uh, accurate so I even though that the speed the high the max speed was not really reflected as much as I'd like on the remote the GPS track speed is um, pretty accurate so you know I'm gonna call it a max speed of 35.5 miles per hour um, with that being said let me know if you want me to redo this video I will definitely choose a more remote location um, that way I won't have too many interruptions the first video was pretty good but uh, the second one there was a little bit too many uh, interruptions there with people walking in front of me and and whatnot at 30 miles per hour <laughs> but uh, yeah let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe and I'll see y'all on the next episode peace